Welcome to a screencast on balancing oxidation reduction reactions in acidic solution. The objective of this screencast is for you to be able to write and balance oxidation reduction reactions in acidic aqueous solution. And the example we will use is the reaction between copper solid and the nitrate ion to make copper 2 plus ion and nitrogen monoxide gas. And we're going to balance this reaction in acidic aqueous solution. Now the first thing when we have a redox reaction is we usually want to figure out what was oxidized and what was reduced. Sometimes that's pretty straightforward. You can just do it by inspection. For example, here copper solid forms the copper 2 plus ion. Copper clearly loses electrons and is therefore oxidized. But uh, sometimes it's not as easy to see. You might not be able to look at the nitrate ion and nitrogen monoxide and immediately see uh, the transfer of electrons. In this case, it's uh, often best to go to oxidation numbers. So let's just do the oxidation numbers for all of the substances in this uh, reaction. And from left to right, copper, the element, has no charge, so it has an oxidation number of zero. In the nitrate ion, oxygen is expected to have an oxidation number of minus two. And since there are three oxygens, that's a total charge of three times negative two, which is negative six. And then nitrogen has to have an oxidation number that when added to negative six, adds up to the overall charge of this ion, which is minus one. And so that of course would be plus five because plus five plus a negative two times three, which is negative six, adds up to negative one. Now, copper two plus has a charge of plus two, so it has an oxidation number of plus two. And in nitrogen monoxide, the oxygen is going to have an oxidation number of minus two. That means the nitrogen has to have an oxidation number of plus two, so that the plus two and minus two, the total charge, ends up being zero for this neutral compound. Okay, so if we co consider what happened to the copper, its oxidation number went from zero to plus two. Oxidation number increasing corresponds to oxidation, so copper was oxidized. Now the other element that had its oxidation number changed is the nitrogen. It went from plus five oxidation number to plus two oxidation number. That's a decrease in oxidation number and so nitrogen was reduced. And then note the oxygen did not have its oxidation number changed, so uh, nothing uh, there. Okay, so we know now what was oxidized and what was reduced, and what we do is we separate this overall reaction into half reactions, and we balance them separately first. So the oxidation half reaction is copper solid forming copper two plus. So we write out that part of the half re of the uh, overall reaction as the copper or oxidation half reaction. And then to balance this, this one's pretty simple to balance because all we have to do is note that when copper solid makes copper two plus, two electrons were quote unquote lost from the copper. So we have to put the two electrons on, in this case, the right hand side so that this uh, overall half reaction is balanced. Copper solid forms copper two plus and two electrons. Okay, that was an easy one to balance. Now let's look at the reduction half reaction and that is the nitrate ion, NO3 minus, forming nitrogen monoxide gas. Now to balance this is a little bit harder but uh, not too bad if we think about what's going on and are a little careful. Uh, first of all, we want to make sure that all elements other than hydrogen and oxygen are balanced. So that in this case would be nitrogen. There's one nitrogen on the left, one nitrogen on the right. So that is already balanced. If we had an imbalance in nitrogens, like let's say this was N2O, then we'd have to put a two out in front of the NO3 minus. So we had the same number of nitrogens on both sides. Okay, but in this case, nitrogen's already balanced. So next we move on to balancing the oxygens and notice there's three oxygens on the left from the nitrate 
and one oxygen from the nitrogen monoxide on the right. So they're out of balance and we clearly can't put coefficients in front uh, to make things balance because that would affect the balance of the nitrogens but if we note we're in aqueous solution that means we have water and if there is water around that can actually participate in the reaction and so if we add two water molecules to the right hand side of this reaction uh, then we have two more O's added to the O from nitrogen uh, sorry nitrogen monoxide so we have three total O's or oxygens on the right balances the three total oxygens on the left okay so we've now balanced the oxygens but we've introduced some hydrogens now we have four hydrogens on the right hand side of the equation we have to have four hydrogens on the left side, hand side of the equation but now if we note that not only are we in aqueous solution but we're in acidic aqueous solution that means we have hydrogen ions floating around so to balance off the four hydrogens on the right from the water we add four H plus ions to the left to balance off the hydrogens and now the nitrogens are balanced the oxygens are balanced and the hydrogens finally are balanced as well and so the only thing left to balance is charge or electrons and if we note on the right hand side of the uh, reaction there's no total charge nitrogen monoxide and water are both uh, neutral and on the left hand side we have a negative one from the nitrate and four positive ones from the four hydrogen ions so that's a total of positive three and so that whole side of the equation has to be neutral same as the uh, other side of the equation and so we can add three electrons to balance off the plus three charge from these two substances and that balances charge on the two sides of this half reaction um, note that to balance charge we're always adding electrons or negative charge a um, couple other things to note if one of your half reactions the oxidation half reaction has electrons on the right which it will if it's an oxidation half reaction the other half reaction the reduction half reaction has to have electrons on the left um, one other thing to note is we can balance electrons by balancing charge we can also look at oxidation number and note that the nitrogen had its oxidation number go from plus five to plus two that corresponds to a decrease of three which corresponds to three electrons okay so now we have each half reaction balanced separately the oxidation half reaction is balanced and the reduction half reaction is balanced and we need to combine those two half reactions now notice to do that we have an issue here two electrons for the oxidation half reaction three electrons for the reduction half reaction and we can't have a different number of electrons lost and and gained so we have to make the number of electrons equal and how do we equalize two electrons lost and three electrons gained well if we triple the half reaction for oxidation triple both sides of it of course and double the half reaction for reduction double both sides of that then when we multiply this through by three we'll get six electrons for the oxidation and we when we multiply the reduction half reaction through by two we'll get six electrons for that so the oxidation half reaction multiplied through by three you multiply each coefficient by three and we get three coppers makes three copper two plus and six electrons and then with the uh, nitrogen with the reduction half reaction we do the same thing we multiply each coefficient by two so that becomes two NO3 minus plus eight H plus plus six electrons makes two NO plus four H2O and if we did everything right then the electrons on the right of the oxidation half reaction and the electrons on the left of the reduction half reaction will cancel out and then we simply add together the two reactions two half reactions to get our overall reaction and that works out to be three 
copper from the first half reaction plus 2NO3 minus from the second half reaction plus 8H plus also from the second half reaction and that forms 3 copper 2 plus from the first half reaction two nitrogen monoxides from the second half reaction and four H2Os from the second half reaction as well. Now in this particular example we simply add everything up and uh, after canceling the electrons nothing else needs to cancel. You can have uh, situations where for example there's four H2Os on the right of this reaction and there's maybe one H2O on the left side of this half reaction and in that case you do cancellation as well four H2O's on the right with one H2O on the left would leave an overall net of three H2O's on the right so it might also be possible you have to cancel out some H pluses and or H2O's but in this case we didn't so to summarize the general method for balancing oxidation reduction reactions in acidic aqueous solution First of all, we need to identify what substance is oxidized and what substance is reduced. And usually we do this via oxidation numbers. You don't have to, but uh, likely. Then we write the unbalanced oxidation and reduction half reactions. And of course, we keep them separate. And then we balance each half reaction separately. First, we balance elements other than hydrogen and oxygen. Then we balance oxygen and we use water to do that. Then we balance hydrogen and we use hydrogen ion to do that. And then finally we balance the charge and we use electrons to balance charge. And then once we've balanced each half reaction, we multiply each half reaction by the appropriate factor to make sure that the electrons or the charge is balanced. And then we add up the half reactions and if there are common terms we cancel out the common terms from both sides and we simplify our reaction and at that point we're done we've balanced the redox reaction in acidic aqueous solution and that is it for the balancing redox reactions in aqueous solution screencast